Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about the phyllotaxy of leaves. So what do we mean by phyllotaxy? Phyllotaxy is the arrangement of leaves on the stem or the branches. So different plants have different mode or different fashion of arrangement of the leaves. So these type of leaves are arranged either in a, either in a uh, random or in some definite patterns. So these pattern or arrangement of leaves is known as the phyllotaxy. So this is also defined as the mode of distribution of leaves. So phyllotaxy is also called the mode of distribution of leaves. So why do we need to study phyllotaxy or what is the main aim of phyllotaxy? Phyllotaxy aims to position the leaves such that they can uh, receive the maximum sunlight. Why? We know that sunlight is necessary for the process of photosynthesis with the use of chlorophyll which is present in the leaves. So leaves need to be exposed or positioned in such a way that they can receive the maximum sunlight. Hence phyllotaxy is very important. The mode of arrangement of these leaves on the branches or the stem is very important. So now let us talk about what are the different types of phyllotaxy that can be possible. The first type is known as alternate or it is also known as the spiral phyllotaxy. These are mostly seen in uh, plants like China rose. So let's understand how uh, this pattern looks like. So this is the uh, diagram of alternate and spiral phyllotaxy. Let's see in the alternate phyllotaxy in each node there is uh, a leaf which is arising but on the other side of the node the leaf is not arising but they are present in an alternate fashion as you can see over here. So from this node this leaf has arised. From the next node, the leaf has arise, arise but on a different direction. So similarly, we can see over here, hence this is known as alternate. This can also be spiral. Here, here we have seen that from a single node only one leaf is uh, coming out. But here, from a single node, two leaves are coming out. But from on the next node, the leaves which are coming out, both the leaves, they are arranged at a perpendicularly opposite direction, right? So these are perpendicular to each other. So again from the next leaf this will be again perpendicular to the previous one. So this is known as alternate or spiral phyllotaxy. The next type is known as opposite. So this phyllotaxy is mostly found in guava plant. How this looks like? You can see from a single node the two leaves are uh, coming out. Two leaves have come out and they are positioned in the opposite direction. Hence these are known as the opposite type of phyllotaxy. And the third type is known as rolled phyllotaxy. This is mostly found in Alstonia. So how it is looks like? This is a characteristic feature where from a single node more than two leaves have they come out. So you can see over here, this is a single node here, three leaves have come out. From, from the, all the other nodes also, more than two leaves are forming. So these are the three major types of phyllotaxy. In this video, we have discussed about the phyllotaxy, which is nothing but the mode of arrangement or distribution of leaves and the branches and the stem. We have also talked about the three different types of phyllotaxy. What are those? Alternate or spiral, opposite and rolled phyllotaxy. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.